Yo, what is going on, everyone? My name is Nick, or The Notorious Fantasy, and today we are doing a 32-team mock draft, the whole first round of the whole thing with trades. Today, I am joined with Tyler Moss right above me, and down below me is Lucas Kaser. Shout out to them for coming out here. We are going to have a great time today with a very serious mock draft. That's why we wore such wonderful attire. Do you guys have anything to say before we get into it? Like I said in the pre-recording that Tyler messed up, do not make fun of me for wearing these sunglasses. For it's a sure. very serious hour. No silliness. No silliness up in here. So we got all 32 teams. We are going to be making every single pick of the first round, including some trades. So Tyler, click that next button for us here, you kind young sir. And then click start that draft. So at the 101 is obviously the Cincinnati Bengals. They are not going to be doing anything here. They ain't moving. They're picking Joe Burrow. I don't know why people even discuss this, but what do you guys think here? Come on. There's nothing to think about. Joe Burrow. Yeah, Joe player. Burrow. For sure. Now, after the Cincinnati Bengals select Joe Burrow, the Redskins are up at the 102. Where are you guys thinking the Redskins go? Is it obvious? Is it Chase Young? Or are they going to try to move back in the draft to get some more picks? I mean, I think they're going to take Okuda personally still. I kind of like looked into – I'm not saying Chase Young's a bad player, but they completely just got rid of all their corners this offseason. They brought in Kendall Fuller, but he's ultimately a slot corner – I get Chase Young is really good, but we haven't seen a corner like this in a long time, maybe since Denzel Ward, but I think Okuda is better than Denzel Ward. I think that's the safer pick because you can replace edge players. You can cycle in three, four edge players, but you can't cycle in three, four corners to produce lockdown number one numbers. I get that it's a little um, – I don't want to say hated it on. It's a little probably bold, but I think that's probably where I'd land on it. Tyler, what are your thoughts here? Uh, Chase Young. Um, it's been Chase Young for me for – it's been a log for a while. Uh, I mean, we can go Okuda to mix it up, but um, let's keep the Redskins fans happy. My move's Chase Young. I mean, Nick, you can tie break this, though. Yeah, no, I completely agree. It's Chase Young. I mean, they once had a great cornerback on the Redskins named Josh Norman. You know what I'm saying? He's a great corner. So <laughs> let's let's go with uh, Chase Young here. I think this is a clear pick. To many, he's the best player in the draft, so there's no reason not to pick him here at the 102 for the Washington Redskins. And now at the 103, the third pick of the draft is the Detroit Lions. Quite a great franchise, actually. They, they have a real winning culture over there in Detroit. So what do you guys think that the Lions do here? Are they going to pick their guy? Are they going to move back? What are they doing? Um, trading up. That's my move. What did you guys do last time? We went last Dolphins time. Trading. Yeah, let's have the Dolphins traded up to select two. Yeah, let's do Chargers. Let's have a little fun with it. Go Chargers. Try, right. try and get him like the first and second. If not, it's definitely Okuda. Yeah, ring, ring the Chargers up. Now, if you guys did not watch the last mock draft, it was a great time. Make sure to watch that one as well. But this one is more up to date. This one we may not be doing as amazing of things as last time. Just kidding. It's going to be way better. So we're going to ring the Chargers. And what are we going to try to get here? Want to give him a one and two to start? That seems pretty ideal. One for one, baby. Let's see if we can get it. I mean, you can, I guess. It's not ever since we're just doing first rounder. Yeah, I'm joking. They have to accept that. Come on. Boom. Oh. It's still like a third. I mean, it doesn't really matter too much. It, it would definitely take the second in real life come NFL draft for sure. They Okuda's too good to move down three spots. To, they're not going to get Okuda at six, so – yeah, 100%. Yeah, just what send are you him doing? down. He's going to do He's a first, second, and fourth. You dummy. Now they're going to do it. Nope. <laughs> Take it's okay. Just add one of the, yeah, and add one of the Lions picks. Like a later Lions pick. They should accept the first and the fourth. Don't add any more. It doesn't actually matter. First and a third. It does. Let's see if it works. It's, it's, it's charge it matters, already. but not really. Because like this is mm-hmm. – we're only doing first round. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Who put this kid in control? This motherfucker. All right, just do the fucking first and the third yeah. and see if it works. Let's do the first. You're giving me a lot of heat right now. I'm wearing a suit. It's already hot enough for me, so. Oh, right. my gosh. Right, you, know, you know, fuck them. Fuck the Chargers. What, what are we supposed to do? Give them head for this pick? Unbelievable. <laughs> well, we, <it's... laughs> just, just, just say fuck it. Don't even trade them the pick. These assholes aren't even going to move up. <laughs> they don't want it. They don't want to yeah, get better. Go, go Jeff Okuda right now. All right, yeah. all right. We're, we're just going to slide down the board. They fucked us over, so we're going to take what? Uh, Cole Komet here. 100% the Okuda. greatest tight end in the draft. Let's act like that. You couldn't be a good GM and get the trade down and move on. All right. Now the football. New York football giants are up to pick. Where are they looking here? Are we moving Chargers. back for the giants? Isaiah the Simmons. They leaked, they leaked the pick. The last two years they've leaked the pick, and it's been right every time. Are we going so Isaiah we Simmons then? That, that's my pick. They Some like – 
some blog person the last two years has leaked it. It's been right the last two years. I like to play trends. I think third time's a charm feels nice here. I don't think – who you have in trade up here, the Chargers? Yeah, I mean, just, just for- because I think Isaiah Simmons will still be there for him. Uh, my gosh, this is alphabetical, Tyler. Figure it out. Um, what are they, they saying? Like, do the fourth, just so we can get it done if you actually want to get it done. Come on, come on. A lot of hostility on Lucas's end. It's okay. If I was the GM, I'd have it done by now. No, yeah, this is not working. No, they just don't want the pick. They really don't. They said, like they, fuck it. We're going to stick yeah. with Tarod Taylor. That's what they're thinking right now. <laughs> they're squeezing my this is, why we, this is why we use PFN ultimately because the trades get done automatically. Yo, I, I think I, I think Isaiah Simmons is here. I know Dave Edelman does not like linebackers, but the, the highest lineman he's taken is like pick 35, if I remember right, in his career. And I think it was Will yeah. Hernandez. I think I, I just don't think they would pass on Isaiah Simmons. I mean, I'm good with it. Yeah, I'll um, just go with Isaiah Simmons here. Even though I think they need a tackle to protect Danny Dimes yeah. so he doesn't have a fumbling issue for the next 12 years of his career if he <laughs> even makes it that long. So at number five, me and Tyler's Miami Dolphins are up to pick here. And the beautiful man himself has fallen to our pick, Tristan Wirfs. So what are you thinking here? I mean, I want to see if I can trade down. Because Lucas said it earlier. Well, Lucas, what, what are you trying to navigate here? Jaguars maybe? I'd say, well, based off the, this this app, this website we're using, they're not going to trade nine and twenty, but in real life, they would trade nine and twenty to get Tua. They would, I mean, what if what if we uh, what if we got the Raiders involved here? No, they would <laughs> they would trade up for Tua. They, I mean, if you want to just do it like we traded the Jaguars, I mean, you could try. Just give them like all of our later picks. Yeah. Just so we can get it done. I I think I don't think this is this is no, out, of the too out of the ordinary at all. Just try it, because it's entirely possible the Raiders accepted it last time when we tried to do yeah, it. Yeah, try it. Well, the I Raiders are really a smart organization, so yeah. Well, the you Jaguars think the Jaguars need, are smart? No, it's a lot of picks. The Jaguars do need a lot of depth elsewhere, but I think they'll ultimately take Tua. All right, so. we got it. Fins yeah. up. We got four first rounders, baby. Let's go. I'm telling you, dude, it's what the Dolphins should do. All right, now the Jaguars trade up, and obviously here they're they're picking Tua. This is this is easy. Sure. If they move up here and they don't pick Tua, they've got a hole in their head. So after they select Tua with the T at the end, double T, they uh, – holy T. shit. The LA Superchargers are up right here. Are they going Herbert? Are they going somewhere else? Do they believe in Tyrod Taylor? What do you guys think? Worse. I, I think worse. They need one more lineman to have – I mean, I don't do power rankings for like O-linemen, but the, in terms of this PFF grades, the other four outside of the one tackle, which would be um, not Russell Okun because they got Pelaga. I'm trying to think of the right right tackle was last year. Was He was like a 65 or 55. I don't remember the number. PFF rating. The other four were very, very good. I think you go worse here. Maybe go Jordan Love round two. Maybe go Eason round two um, and just complete the O-line. If Tyrod plays at like a B minus potential, they're still going to be fine with how stacked their team is. Yeah, I, I yeah, completely agree with that. Yeah, me too. Uh, Worfs is the guy. Because um, the Dolphins are going to get Herbert still. <laughs> Could you imagine? Yeah, no, they will. <laughs> Holy shit. No, no. What are you talking about, man? The Panthers, they said, fuck Teddy Bridgewater. We're going to go get should him we, right here. Should we try and have the Patriots trade up to make this like a – like do you think yeah. this, if this happened, the Patriots might try and make some make some moves? Let's do it with um. Let's do it with the Cardinals because I don't. I don't believe. Fair enough. Yeah. So, uh, what is it? Carolina sitting in a great spot to get uh Jarek Brown here. I'm very okay with making that move. I like him or C.J. Henderson. Um, I'm really big on C.J. Henderson, so it might be kind of early for some people, but Derek Brown's yeah. feels a huge need for him. Yeah, Nick. Derek Brown's the chalk pick here, 100%. Everyone's picking him here, so just go with Derek Brown here. We'll appease the Panthers fans. So at number eight, the Cardinals are up, but we are going to try to make a move to see if the New England Deflatriots can make a move up in the draft. So obviously this, this pick would take more than what the Patriots have in the draft. I think it would take their first, their second, and probably the first next year if I had to like place a, a trade value on it. Patriots have a ton of later-round picks, as you can see. They don't even have a second. So try like a first, third, and a hypothetical like first next year, we can say. Yeah, or two thirds and a second next year. Yeah, it it'll be more than just what they have to offer right now. Um, yeah, because on the website you're not allowed to trade, trade future, future picks, not which makes no league. sense, but it's okay. All right, so they're you definitely not going to accept it if it takes that long. Oh, never mind. Oh. All right, so that was say we threw in like a 2021 first or whatever the case may be. 
Justin wow. Herbert, I don't think this is a bad move for the Patriots. This team, QB is the number one um, fill, obviously, team need, but do they actually even need a wide receiver? Like, that's how good they are that they have that as their number two option. So this would be perfect for them. Yeah, 100%. I mean, Stidham is not the fucking answer, regardless of how many Patriots fans will be in the comment section. Oh, Stidham is so great. Why did you do that? That's the best. It's so good. To me, I don't have rankings, like I said, but I think Andrew Thomas would fit with the Dolphins are trying to do. I think it's the safer pick compared to the other two. Obviously, Wills is good, but I like really, I really like Andrew Thomas the best out of these three. All right. I mean, I like Wills. Uh, preferably, he's my second uh, OT. Uh, so that's who I would roll with. Um, I don't hate Andrew Thomas. Uh, I can definitely go with that. Uh, Nick, your thoughts at all? Uh, to me, it does not really matter between him and Wills. It's like the same shit, different day type of deal here. So you can go with either one here. I mean, the, the Dolphins and the Browns should expect to, if this scenario happens, both take O tackles here. So the Miami Dolphins go with Andrew Thomas. And now the Cleveland Browns are up. What are we looking at here? Best available offensive lineman. Yeah, don't even hesitate. Yeah, it's, it's Wills, 100%. They have to take a tackle. So now the Jumbo Jets are up. Will they appease the fans and select a wide receiver like Lamb or Ruggs, or are they going to fuck you right in the ass and just do the complete opposite and take a tackle to, fr- to protect Sammy Mono? Best available offensive lineman. Yeah, uh, Jets fans, go ahead, go ahead and start writing your comment down below. We're not taking a wide receiver. You need to breathe. Um, they don't need a wide receiver. Like They do, but they don't. They have... Rashad Perriman, Jamison Crowder, Quincy and Numa. I don't even know if Demarius Thomas is still on the team. Obviously, those aren't a long-term answer, but your team needs a lot more than just one wide receiver. Dude, Sam Darnold salivating over that. Sam Darnold sucks anyways. So, like, yeah, I mean, even if he has no O-line, CeeDee Lamb is not going to – See, the Lamb's not going to be able to catch the ball when it's thrown five yards in front of him because he has no yeah. offensive line. I mean, you also have to watch out if Sam Darnold is salivating because you might catch some mono from that. So, yeah. at the number 12 pick, the L – Vegas Raiders, the Las Vegas Raiders are up to go. The LV Riders. So what are we looking here for the Raiders? I mean, if we're going kind of bold with our picks, I kind of like the Henry Ruggs pick, pick here. I don't think it's bold necessarily. I just think that it's John Gruden, and they play against Tyreek Hill twice a year. So they kind of give a taste for the burner type receiver. I don't want to put it out of range or out of the the, uh, the odds of this happening. But I think since we kind of made some more trades, kind of went a little different route, this would be kind of fun to go with him here. Yeah, yeah I can I mean, see I, that. You know, I mean, I like Judy here or Lamb, uh, preferably more dominant outside receivers. Uh, Ruggs is fast. I don't really think Ruggs can, can be your wide receiver one. I think he's an incredible wide receiver too. Uh, that really helps elevate offenses. So if I was the Raiders, I, I would go Lamb. I would go Judy. Uh, go with a guy that you feel is, is a very, very safe bet, wide receiver one for your team for, for the long distant future. Um, I, don't really, I don't really like Ruggs having to be forced into a wide receiver one spot, though. Yeah, no, I, I can agree with that. I don't even know why Judy's not even on the screen here unless – oh, no, he is. I'm just very behind. <laughs> They're all three in a row. So I think we should go with CeeDee Lamb here. For sure. Go for it. I mean, that's what I would pick. I was just trying to be a little different. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, right here, the fan base that actually hates my YouTube channel the most, second to the Oakland Raiders or the Las Vegas Raiders, is the San Francisco 49ers up here at number 13. Shout out, Dan Marino. What are we looking at here? It's CJ Henderson all day. Like, this man is not – this man is much higher than 13th best overall in this class. He's his cornerback one. You add him in there with Richard Sherman eventually take over. You have the two slot corners and a Keller Witherspoon. And that's like Mosley's his last name. I feel like – I don't know. No matter which route we go here, people are going to be mad. So I don't think we should try and appeal to people. I think it's I mean, CJ Henderson. I mean, 49ers fans, his name's Lucas, just so you know, down in the comments. If we don't pick a wide receiver, you're going to get your ass burnt like Richard Sherman Good. in the Super Bowl. I'm on so. Twitter at Kaser underscore Lucas. Come at me. Yeah, okay. yeah. Make sure you don't yell at me this time. Uh, I'm not going to make or say anything about this pick so that you guys can um, can insult me about it. So I'm going to go with what Lucas said. Uh, remember, Kaser. I mean, Lucas here's the thing. CJ Henderson is your prototype one. There's so many receivers that you can get in this class and next year, and the yeah. fact that you don't even need another receiver because you didn't use Emmanuel Sanders when you had him. 
CJ yeah. Henderson all day. Just go CJ Henderson. I mean, in the comments, they're going to be all pissed off. Oh, we need a wide receiver. Just fucking draft one later, you dense fucks, okay? So at number 14, we have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Tom Brady's Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now I know the 49ers fans, they're all pissed. They wanted maybe Tom Brady to come there instead of Jimmy Garoppolo. You know, Tom Brady probably would have won you guys the Super Bowl. But instead, you had to have Jimmy Garoppolo, who's a choke artist. So at number 14, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, are they looking wide receiver? They looking tackle? They looking running bike? Where are they looking here? What if they traded? I kind of like the Vikings trading up, giving them those two picks. Kind of draws draws interest to me there to go get Jerry Judy. I'm almost sure we did that last time. Okay, so let's try the Eagles. Let's try the Eagles moving up to get Jerry Judy. Maybe they give like a first, a second, and yeah, let's see if the fourth or something. I don't know. The best of their love here. That's an Eagles. Eagles need a fucking wide receiver. I don't think the Bucks will like – they'll take a good offer just to add depth because they really don't need anybody that's on the board right now unless they really like Josh Jones. I don't – there's not really a, a reason to reach. Let's try like a first, second, and a fourth. Yeah, put a second in there too, Tyler. Wow. Or third. Yeah. All right, I don't really matter. Home runs here. We're not making this like – we can't do the trades realistic because this site is not very good at that. Use PFN, guys. It's free for Juan to make trades. Yeah, but, I mean, uh, if the Draft Network wants to slide me the bag, you can slide it as well. Congratulations. Oh, the right. Buccaneers have accepted this trade. So now the Philadelphia Eagles are on the board. Former Super Bowl champs against the New England Deflatriots. Big dick Nick Foles, though, not the quarterback anymore. So they had to stick with the worst quarterback in Carson Wentz. So what is it here? It's wide receiver, obviously, right? It's Jerry Judy all day. Replace your Alshon Jeffrey. Re- replace your hey, Nelson you. Aguilar. So at number 15, Lucas, <laughs> your Broncos are up here. What do you want to do? I mean, I want an offensive tackle. If there's no tackle, then go Henry Ruggs. Um, but we're going to get one of the two just because basic elimination math. You're gonna, there's so many of them. You're going to get the, that guy. I like C.J. Henderson, though. I've kind of, that's kind of growing on me, too. But I think it's, if this is the board, it's Henry Ruggs all day. Yeah, I, hey, I'm not disagreeing with it. I've been shocking Ruggs there for a while. Uh, Nick, your thoughts? No, no, I love that move to pair a guy with Cortland Sutton. I mean, if horse cock Drew Locke is as good as we believe he is, then this is just going to be a wet dream for you Broncos fans. So I love the move for Henry Ruggs III out of Alabama to go to the Denver Broncos. So at number 16, we have the Atlanta Falcons, the chokers of the Super Bowl. What are we thinking here? Glad me. Me too. I'm glad you said that. I think, Uh, yeah, good one. I think he's the pick if Henderson's not here. Um, I mean, they needed edge, but they got um, Dante Fowler. Obviously, you could use another edge, but I think they need a true font left. They need somewhat of a cornerback one. They have him and Kendall Sheffield. I think that'll be a good pairing. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've grown on him a lot more. I think we all have. Um, Jeff Gladney, he's he's a really solid corner, and and there's the Falcons need it. Uh, I, again, you 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 went and touched every point I was going to cover. You, you don't need to get Chase on as much because you got Fowler. Um, cover up the secondary. I like Gladney a ton. I mean, the Falcons need anything on defense, to be honest with you. So this is this is good. They get hurt. Yeah, Jeff they get hurt every year, anyways. So yeah, Jeff Gladney out of TCU goes to the Atlanta Falcons. Now here at number seventeen, we got the Dallas Cowboys. Now a lot of people are actually a bit mad that we like Delpit over uh, Xavier McKinney. So what are you thinking here, Lucas? Since we we always pick uh, well, Delpit, you can't draft cap space. So I think we should go Caleb on Chase on here. <laughs> Oh, oh gosh, hey. I think I think they want C.J. Henderson or Jeff Gladney, but they I I am growing that they're not going to be there. I think Chase will be the pick here. Um, they got Alden, Alden Smith. The man hasn't had a snap in four years, and there's not going to be an off season. So five years, he's not going to have a snap. Caleb on Chase on has to be the guy to sort of complement whatever they're trying to do with Alden Smith. I mean, unless you want to reach on like Fulton, I don't think Fulton's that great. Personally, he's good, but he's not Gladney and C.J. Henderson good. I think Chase on back to you guys' point. It's kind of tough between McKinney and Delpit because I feel like they're similar. Um, I think it'll just come down to what which one is higher on the team's big board. So I don't really have a preference over the two. Yeah, um, I mean, you touched on it. You can't draft cap room, and you, you definitely can't. I, I don't think Jerry's interested in drafting his franchise quarterback quite yet. So uh, we'll go. We'll go ahead and take Chase on. That's another rip on the Cowboys. <laughs> Danny's not yeah. here to defend himself. I can say whatever I want. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how Jerry's going to go get a tug off during this coronavirus stuff, so he may be a bit worried. <laughs> I mean, that's not even Jerry. That's fucking the that's other guy. Even, okay, that's Robert Kraft, but I still imagine Jerry Judy likes it. Not Jerry Judy. Jesus Christ. Jerry Jones loves to get a bit of a tuggy as well. So go with uh, 
chase on here. And then the Miami Dolphins are up. Welcome to Miami, home <laughs> of where Mr. Kraft loved to get that rub and tug. So what are you thinking here? It's tough because Justin Jefferson's still here. And as much as like I don't think you guys like, really need a wide receiver, I really think he'd be a good pick here. Um, if you look at the rest of the next 12 picks, I'm no, sorry, 14 picks, we have four of them. So I think the, the defensive needs will be addressed. So I don't want to say we're reaching for him. We could also go a guy, um, Kinlaw. I don't really know if you guys – it's obviously not listed as a need. I don't know if that would be like the pick. Um, or you guys could go your favorite safety out of the class, whichever you want to do. Yeah, I mean, you're, you, you hit it right on the nose. We definitely need to grab a wide receiver. That's why I want to pick Grant Delpit here so we can cover up our secondary. <laughs> Get fucked. Um, I, I, Delpit's so good, and, and I want – I want him on the back end replacing Minka. This is the pick that, that we got for Minka, so why not go ahead and replace him um, with that's gonna, a, such, that's gonna be such a Dolphins troll. Like someone's gonna, like that's gonna be like, oh, that's gonna be so funny though. I mean, we could trade out of it. I mean, I'm not really no. There, no, just make the pick. He's not coming. Like he would come back, I guess. But I would just stay with four picks here. Just take the pick. Are we going Delphin? That's your guy. I think so. Yeah, because you're still going to get Je- Justin Jefferson at the next pick. Because I'm not you gonna actually think the Dolphins need a wide receiver, Lucas? Not really, but, like, maybe. Like, if Jefferson's there, are you going to pass on him? I guess he's kind of like – Do we have a quarterback like... yet? <laughs> Just no. We, we have a quarterback. We have Tua. Or not Tua. Ryan Fitzpatrick. Yeah, no, Ryan I'm Fitzpatrick. Not, I'm, not, I'm not taking Jordan Love. Jacob Eason, greater sign, Jordan Love. So here's All my right. case. You got Shea Patterson still down here, so you definitely can wait. Jared Guantanamo Bay. Um, <laughs> so we, we definitely have the yeah, and, and the greatest uh, game manager in the game, Jake Fromm, still available. Jake so at number 19, the Las Vegas Raiders are up right, right. now. Who did we select with the first pick for the Raiders? It was one of those wide receivers. So It was uh, CeeDee Lamb. This is Kim Law to me. I think that, that that's a huge value at 19. The D-line he built together with the two rookie picks and Max, Max Crosby and Cleveland Farrell, were act, for as much crap as he got, they actually turned out pretty good. Like, their D-line was actually pretty solid. You had a guy like Kim on the middle of those two. You're pretty much set for however long they play there, four or five years together. You need a corner really bad, but I'm not huge on Fulton. And Yeah, not worth the reach. Um, go ahead and just plug in Ken Law here. I, I'm big on that. I, I like that move. Uh, Nick, your thoughts before we – Send select it. Kinlaw, go Cox, baby. All right, so oh, after wow. they select uh, Mr. Kinlaw of the Cox to the Raiders, the Miami Dolphins are back on the board here. Do they go love? Do they believe in love? Are they feeling magic, or are they going somewhere else? Um, well, we look at the teams next. Let's just look at the teams that are up next, because obviously we're not going to trade back in. Out of Tampa the teams Bay that are remaining, you can easily get Jake Jordan Love at 26. I know wow, we're, all, we're, we're making – we're making all the picks so we can kind of force it that way, but I think that we should just wait. Um, go to Zach Bond is there. That's not a really like big pick to me. I think I'll Ruiz. I think Ruiz would be a solid pick here because the the, the Bucks, Vikings, Cardinals, and Saints all need O line. So I think Ruiz would be a solid pick here just to make sure we get that inside O lineman to play the center slash guard. Because um, I I'm not gonna let Ruiz fall all the way down to 26 with those five teams up next. Hey, completely reasonable. Um, I'm plenty okay with that. I think Ruiz, the uh, the draft network is not highly valued enough in this, and we're gonna we're gonna boost the stock here. Nick, yeah, for sure. We we're gonna be the expert here and select Caesar Ruiz. I mean, the Dolphins' offensive line is about as brutal as it gets. It splits like the the Red Sea from Moses. So I mean, like they need an offensive lineman, and we already have one. Now we got Caesar. No, we do not. We have Delpit. Ruiz, and we had someone else earlier who I completely forgot because I have a midget Josh brain. So, and number twenty-one, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are back. Are they going to try to save Tom Brady's ass, or is old age going to get him before the uh, whatever? Never mind. That was a stupid joke. I Pick mean, Josh Jones. a little bit of everything. He only throws the ball like three and a half yards downfield. Mike Evans likes to go like thirty plus yards downfield. So we'll see. They need an offensive tackle because they're aligned to saying it. The inside our line's good. The out tackles, yeah, no way. Josh Jones is the pick here. Eight yeah. and eight season for him. Hundred uh, percent. Definitely got every yeah, eight and eight. Oh my god, what a meme. Yeah, eight and eight for the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, so they went with Josh enough. Jones here at twenty-one, and now the Minnesota Vikings are here, a team that needs a corner. Like I need a hand job right now. So let's go with the team. <laughs> That's bold, Justin Jefferson. <laughs> they're they're gonna go. Oh, I'm not gonna reach on a receiver here. They have corners. 
Huh? They have no corners. Yeah, but the Cardinals, the Cardinals and Saints don't need a corner. We can just get Christian Fulton at 25. I need to stack corners. No, like that wouldn't to, surprise me if they did that, to be honest with you. They I only mean, go to Thielen anyways. Well, who else are we going to take with Fulton? Like, who's the other corner? We could just take Jefferson right here, I mean, and just appease I said the fans. Take, I say we go to Jefferson, and then we try and get Fulton at uh, All right. 25. Yeah, no, I, I Remember, agree I'm with the, that. I'm the expert. Look at my glasses. Hey, buddy hey. looks like Ozzy Osbourne. I do. That's all I had. <laughs> you guys made me wear glasses. Red. Yeah, yeah, we actually yeah. forced him to wear them. We have him in his, our basement. So, at number 22, the Vikings 100% going Justin Jefferson here. Tyler, you have no say, you motherfucker. At 22, the Minnesota Vikings. No Vikings fans, by the way. Yeah, no, the Vikings fans also do not like us, just so you guys know. Uh, most of the team's fans, actually. No, they all don't like us. Like, they'd all hate us, but that's okay. I love you all. No one so. can make a good mock draft because no one can expect what's actually going to happen because nobody knows. Not even the NFL guys. They don't even know. They Mr. Mel Kuyper rumors. knows. Sure, okay, because he has, he has teams calling him, telling him what's going on. Besides that, he, no one knows. This pick right here, I like Zach Bond at this pick. I also think uh, Denzel Mims would not be out of the question here. They're just, they need to offer defensive needs, but yet again, they did not address those in free agency. So as much as like this team needs to build on the defense, for some reason they think they don't have to, for whatever the reason may be, but I think Zach Bond would be my pick here. Yeah, I think it has to. They <laughs> In a situation where they didn't go get DeAndre Hopkins and and Bob wasn't wasn't robbed of of everything he has of his whole life, uh, I mean yeah, basically I, I would definitely go wide receiver, but I am plenty okay wrapping up Zach Bond here at this pick. Yeah, no, I completely agree. Bond is an absolute beast out of Wisconsin. Ed Rusher here, so that's who we're to select at number twenty three for the Arizona Cardinals. Now twenty four, we have the New Orleans Saints. Where are we going here for the Saints? <sighs> I really, really like Patrick Queen here. I mean, I really like Cesar Ruiz here, but I think if he's obviously not there, I think Patrick Queen's the move. Yeah, I mean, hey, I can back it. The only other thought um, in my head was maybe they go Jordan Love and just shake the world. Um, Breeze is only, what, a one-year contract right now, so it could be interesting. I, I don't know, Nick. What, Nick you, like, you like Jordan Love at this pick? I do. I don't mind that. Yeah, I mean, Breeze is, he said he was done after this year. I mean, he's probably, he said he was done at the end of last year, too, to, to all his whole fucking team, and then he decided to come back. So if they don't win the Super Bowl, I wouldn't be surprised if he came back again for another year. But He said he was done after that uh, that Rams loss, too, and then and the Vikings you lost. You mean the refs <laughs> lost? Take Jordan back. Love. I like, I like that pick. I like that pick. Jordan Love. Yeah. They're going to go to the playoffs. They're going to lose to some team they shouldn't have lost to yet again. But yeah, I'm they're going to lose gonna to the better. Vikings. Shout out I'm the Vikings. Gonna, I'm still going to bet on them to win the Super Bowl. All right, Christian Fulton, the pick here. Let's not even talk about it. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Okay, good. All right. Zero convincing. <laughs> Just full send. Get your corners. You guys are wrong. I mean, now at 26, the Dolphins can't get Jordan Love, and that makes me cry a bit. So. Dude, would you potentially see a double down on safety here? Like, do you think McKinney or Dolph could eventually play kind of what Minka plays, like, in the slot? I'm not really for sure. Like, obviously, I watched him play, but I didn't, like, scout them enough to, like, see their versatility. Um, besides that pick, I really like Patrick Queen. Uh, I think he's just going to play all over the defense. But what are you guys' thoughts? Well, I would I would honestly prefer to trade out. I mean, I think we have everything we need um, that we had to get in the first round. And if you just collect more picks, you have so many needs that you could just start filling them. Uh, I would see if there's a team that needs a running back desperately that wants to get on the phone that doesn't have a pick in this first round that may want to try and trade up here. Steelers. I think look at the like we look at the possibilities of someone trading up for Denzel Mims because if you pull up the rest of the receivers, besides Higgins because he's just kind of questionable because he didn't test because he was lazy, um, to see Jalen Rager. Teams don't like I mean teams like Rager, but teams don't like Rager, Rager to the extent that we do. Um, for some reason, same with Tyler Johnson, whole different conversation. But I think a team like the Packers could easily trade up here. We could please the Niners fans and have them trade up. Because I think if you look at the teams ahead, um, the Ravens could easily take receiver. I mean, the Packers, I think, would at this point. Chiefs easily could. Sammy Watkins got a restructured contract, but even under contract, when he plays, he's not very good. So what are you guys' thoughts? Have a team trade up for a receiver, or do we just go best available for you guys as Dolphins? I want to trade, have a team trade up. I mean, I think the Steelers are definitely an option for, for getting the running back option. Um, 
Why is Jonathan Taylor under J.K. Dobbins? What the hell's going on, Draft Network? Dude, dude, I mean, the guys on the NFL Network are saying that Jonathan Taylor's the fifth best running back in this class. So I don't know if they need some glasses. I mean, we got three pairs right now we can donate to you because this is just embarrassing. I mean, Jonathan Taylor's probably the best back in this draft to me. So I don't fucking get that yeah, at all. Try, let's go with the Niners trading over the Packers for Denzel Mims. Let's say they really like Denzel Mims. They go up and get him here. All right. Hey, Niners fans, I know you guys aren't watching the video. You you just made the comment on why we took a uh, why we took a corner. Are you first pick? At, at Caser underscore Lucas, I'm ready for your comments. Am I an idiot? Why can't I find this team? Oh, they're, they're, well, you what are, are you idiot. looking for? They're the fucking first team because they're numbers, you dumbass. Yeah, that's how they're sorted in Madden, you asshole. It's an alphabetical. Yeah, the, numbers this isn't Madden. This is the NFL, motherfucker. This is the NFL on CBS. Oh, my God. Look at their picks. Those are some great picks. Yeah, they don't need picks. Their team is stacked. Yeah, they don't need picks. Jimmy Garoppolo yeah, but, already throws enough. But if I'm the Dolphins, I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. Screw that. Yeah, no, I don't. I wouldn't want that either. Call up the fucking Packers. I think here. Fine. We're gonna, be We're gonna, dude. Are you dense? The Packers are up. If you're looking for the Packers, are you going to the Steelers? Okay. Then we don't get a pick for the Dolphins. That's not very fun. We already got three picks for them. Yeah, I wanted four. I'm telling you, they're going to trade down to five. I love that idea. Look at that, though. Now now what they get is they get a sec, a third uh, second and a, a second third. God, that was so hard to say. <laughs> I would I mean, try it. Maybe we can get <laughs> Cam Akers in the second round. I'd love that. But we're not doing two fucking rounds. I'm going to go with a fourth. I think that's more realistic. Can we agree? I don't know. Just I don't know. Just, it, don't, it doesn't really matter what we give them. You guys are always yelling at me. Like I don't even. So who, are we, who are we taking here? Jonathan Taylor. Yeah. I hit running backs in the first round. Okay. Well, then who do you want? What do you guys want? The Packers here? I think it would be the Niners because they would trade over the Packers. Yeah, yeah no, that's like entirely possible. Rounds. I don't want that. Yeah, they don't have like any picks though. They're a bunch of cops. They, give, they give next year's picks. Like that's a thing. You just obviously can't do it right now. Yeah, that's true. We could just say that they did that. So yeah, just, hypothetical. Just Hypothetical move here. We get give them, two, give them two fifths, and then we'll just say a second next year to move down five spots for a position they like. They're still going to get the guy they like. Yeah, I don't hate that at all. All right, we got it. So that's a great move for the Miami Dolphins. They have two stacked years in the draft with so many picks. So obviously, here we're going uh, Mims. Uh, yeah, yeah Mims. Here we're going to go DeAndre Swift. <laughs> Add to their running back stable. Mm-hmm. Just grow them out of the ground over there. Yeah, we go, Mims. 49ers fans, we know you're not watching the video anymore because you you wrote your comment and you left in rage. But uh, if you did hang a, hang around here, we took we took Mims with the 26. Yeah. Now at number 27 is the Seattle Seahawks. Here, where are you guys thinking Seattle is looking here? Well, they do need an edge really bad, but Clowney's still on the market at the time of this recording. I think he's honestly going to sign back to like a one-year deal. So I think if that happens, I think McKinney would be the pick here. I think it's a really good talent to leave on the board at this pick. Because, um, I mean, I, I like Gross Matos. I like Epinesa, but they're just not the next tier of edge rushers that they would ultimately see here. But we did see him take LJ Collier last year. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, McKinney, obviously, the value is great. Um, I like Matos here as well. I mean – I guess you're right. I mean, you can't let that value fall even further. I mean, if you're you're Seattle, you're just trying to better your defense in any way possible. So yeah, I can go with it. Yeah, and I'm I'm just receiving a call that uh from the higher ups that's saying that you guys need to subscribe to this video if you made it this far. So Ooh. make oh sure to God. do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now at 27, where are we going here? Come on. <laughs> I like McKinney. Yeah, I'll go with it. That's fine. Yeah, dude, it, was, it wasn't even me. They fucking called me. These glasses so, make you elite. I love these. Exactly. Uh, this so. Is, Kenneth Murray is the perfect Raven. I don't know why. I don't have any reasoning. Right. I, when I think Kenneth Murray, I think of the Ravens middle linebacker. You're right. I completely agree. That's why I want to go Patrick Queen here from LSU. I also don't hate that pick because I think they're both being slept on right now. Yeah, like, they're I like mean, the same person. I mean, Patrick Queen won't even have to switch colors. He goes from purple to purple. So, uh, to me, that's a fit. Oof. I like so that. Nick, Nick, you can't oh, hate on that logic. You tie-breaked it like my sister would. Pick the best colors. Come on, bro. <laughs> uh, you can go Kenneth Murray, I think, actually. I, I've seen Kenneth Murray. We do Kenneth it's, Murray in every video. so They're going to go linebacker here. So it's whoever's going to be available. I don't think both these guys are going to be available in real life. But um, who got it? The one with this one. They really need an offensive tackle. 
because Conklin left and they did not sign anybody. So you think they would maybe reach on like an Ezra Cleveland, Austin Jackson? Um, I'm going to run out of names because you're not on the O tackle list. I'm trying to think of the guys below them because they're not very good. Lucas Niang, not bad. But I think Ezra Cleveland or an Austin Jackson would probably reach on here. Isaiah Wilson with your next pick would be gold because that's a run. That's a run tackle. Um, you want to reach that far? I don't want to reach, but the Titans have to. They saw what happened to the Rams when they lost um, Andrew Whitworth. I mean, they just lost their offensive tackle. Why not just, like, have the Bengals trade up or some shit? I mean, get value for it at least. I mean, Epinesa or Gross Models is still a good pick here. Like, it feels a huge need. So, I, I would say you just pick it. They're, they're not yeah. going to trade out, I don't think. Yeah, yeah it's either Epinesa or Mbados, whichever one you guys prefer. He has a fun name, so we're going to go with that. Gross Matos. That's my logic for picking him, by the Gross way. Gross Matos goes to the Tennessee Titans, and now the most overrated team in the NFL steps up to the podium, the virtual podium, that is, because the NFL draft is not happening in real life. The Green Bay Packers are up here. What are they doing? Patrick Queen, baby. Big body, LaVishka Chanel. No, they're not going wide receiver in the Mims. Uh, <laughs> Packers uh, fans yell at us later. Um, I agree. He's a linebacker. They lost Blake Martinez. Yeah, a real great linebacker. So at number 31, the Miami Dolphins are back on the pick. Please, Lord, pick Jonathan Taylor here. Yeah, I completely agree. That's why I want to go uh, Jalen Rieger. <laughs> no, I, I agree with it. If, uh, this was me, if this was me, I would go up Vanessa, but you guys can pick. We don't need Edge. We uh, we got Shaq Lawson. We're fine. We're fine. Come Vanessa on. can play the inside too, but, I mean, I get the whole Jonathan Taylor – I just don't want him to fall into the whole like first round running back. You got to pay him trap situation, but I like the pick. Yeah, I mean, let's let's look at it. I'm 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 pretty sure Corey said this. Uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick was our lead rusher last year, which, True. to be honest, he's probably one of the best mobile quarterbacks in the game. So it makes sense. Um, yeah, I mean, like a- like Ryan Fitzpatrick, Lamar Jackson, like. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then Russ right under him, and then Josh Rosen, and then Kalen Balaj, and then you go into the elite running back Saquon CMC. You, you get it. Don't forget Drew Locke. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Don't toot your horn too much. Go Broncos, right? That's Nick's horn. Nick loves Drew Locke. I do love him. He should strap the ball to his cock so he get an extra couple of inches <laughs> to try to get that first down. So Miami <laughs> Dolphins. We're on the pick here. I like Jonathan Taylor. If I'm being honest with you, I mean Jordan Howard is not an elite back. I mean the guy has the hands. Like, he has feet on his fucking hands. He has butter fingers. That guy couldn't catch the ball if you wanted him to. The Bears tried to get him to stand in front of the jugs machine, try to catch it, probably hit him in the face like 30 fucking times because the guy literally can't catch the ball. So, Jonathan Taylor, to me, this is just a wet dream. I love Jonathan Taylor. Lucas, what would be your pick right here? Um, hmm. Too bad. Jonathan Taylor's the pick. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter what your name is, Jabroni. <laughs> <laughs> At number 32, we have the Super Bowl champions, the team that defeated the fraudulent San Francisco 49ers. So what are we thinking here for the Kansas City Chiefs, the Super Bowl champions? Are they trading out of this first round? They're saying, no, fuck it's, it. It's cornerback all day. I, either Noah I or A.J. Terrell, they need freaking cornerback because they think that you don't need what? corners. What do you mean? Richard Sherman's still so good. For the Madden, this is, this is the Chiefs. <laughs> Nick, what are you doing? Where's your credibility? <laughs> oh, okay. oh my God, I'm so stupid. Richard Sherman is not. If I, had to pick, if I had to pick one pick that I want to happen just for the trolls, I want the Vikings to take Trayvon Diggs and <laughs> they got rid of Stephon Diggs. <laughs> that would be that. Good. I think. I think personally, it'd be AJ Terrell for the for no. the Chiefs. I think that, that just fits better. All right, yeah, we can go with that. And now let's just read off the picks here, every pick that happened in this draft. So you guys, you know, if you're listening to this in the fucking car, hopefully you didn't drive into a wall. I don't even know why you're in a car. I mean, maybe you're going to the food store, but you can't really leave anywhere. So at number one, we went with big man Joe Burrow, smoking Joe, then Chase Young to the Redskins at number three. The Lions went with Jeffrey Okuda at four. The Giants selected Isaiah Simmons at five. The Jacksonville Jaguars trade up to select two. I know the comments are going to love that pick. At number six, Tristan Wirfs goes to the... Superchargers at seven. The Panthers select Derek Brown at number eight. The the Patriots trade up to select Justin Herbert, the pervert at nine. Andrew Thomas goes to the Dolphins. Ten. Jedrick Wills to the Cleveland Browns at eleven. The Jumbo Jets select Makai Becton at twelve. C.D. Lamb to the Las Vegas Raiders at thirteen. The San Francisco 49ers fans are in shock. C.J. Henderson goes to the 49ers at fourteen. Jerry Judy to the Eagles. Fifteen. The Broncos select Henry Rugg. Sixteen. Gladney to the Falcons. Seventeen. Chase on to the Cowboys. Eighteen. Delpit to the Dolphins. Nineteen. 
Vegas selects Kinlaw. At 20, the Dolphins get Ruiz. At 21, Tampa Bay selects Josh Jones, not John Jones, because he's probably in jail for a DUI. At 22, what? Justin Jefferson to the Vikings. At 23, Zach Vaughn to the Cardinals. At 24, Jordan Love to the Saints. At 25, Fulton to the Vikings. 26, Mims to the 49ers. 27, Xavier McKinney to the um, – Seahawks at 28, Baltimore goes with Kenneth Murray. At 29, Gros Matos goes to the Titans at 30. The Green Bay Packers select Patrick Queen at 31. The Dolphins select JT. And at 32, the Chiefs select AJ Terrell, corner out of Clemson. So do you guys have anything here before we exit this video? Hell no. What a draft, though. We were a little bit more realistic this time than last time, where last time we were just trading everyone and everyone. Um Anyone was on the board. I mean, I'm pretty sure we had uh, we had the Patriots picking one. I don't even remember that draft. But a lot more realistic here. Uh, some moves that, that may seem insane that could actually happen. Um, I really like what the Dolphins were able to do here as a Dolphin fan, personally. But you know what? Good draft so far, overall. I mean, I just got another call saying to subscribe to this podcast, too. This one was from um, – the Broncos owner and the Dolphins owner, so that's more credible than whoever you got a call from. So yeah, Dick Pound, head scout at the Detroit Lions, hit us up and told us that. So thank Roger you guys Goodell. all. For... Roger Goodell's yeah, on the phone. All right, so thank you guys all for watching. Suck at my job. <laughs> check all of them out. Link down below in the description. Check out their Twitter. Check out their YouTube channel. Their website. All that shit is linked down below in the description. Leave a nice comment about the fact that you just love who we drafted for your team. I know you're all going to love it. It was a great draft we had. So thank you guys all for watching. Kiss your mother if you have one. If you don't, kiss someone else that you love. I love Good night, babies. One of you guys. Have a great rest of your day. Or,